gentlemen, boys and girls, mathematicians of all ages, let's welcome to the show me, Miss McCarthy. Thanks for joining me today on this episode of Math Misconception Mystery. This is an interactive show where you are the mathematical detective. But before we begin, we need to get our minds right with the mathematical mindset creed. Say it with me, detectives. This is a safe place to make mistakes. Mistakes help me learn and grow. I am a hard worker. I am resourceful. I stick with it until I get it. I am brave. I take charge of my learning. I ask questions when I don't understand. When in doubt, I draw it out, if possible. I respect and actively listen to the ideas of others. Okay, detectives, now that our brilliant minds are ready, here's today's problem. A home alarm company has 6,782 customers. This company has installed state-of-the-art home monitoring equipment in each customer's home for a cost of $37 a month. How much money does the home alarm company bring in each month? Before we introduce our four guest students, I want you to solve this problem on your own. So go ahead, pause this video, and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. Now let's see how our four guest students solve this problem. Make sure you pay attention to any mistakes or misconceptions they may make and jot down your notes in your detective diary to discuss later. I used multiplication to solve this problem because we knew the number of customers and we knew how much they were charging each month. We're trying to find the total, so multiplication is key. Here is what I did. I lined the digits up just so. Then here's how I solved it. 2 times 7 is 14. Bring down the 4, carry the 1. 7 times 8 plus 1 is 57. 7 times 7 plus 5 is 54. 7 times 6 plus 5 is 47. That's my first product. Now I'm crossed out all the numbers I regrouped, and I'm multiplying times the 3 now. So 2 times 3 is 6. 8 times 3 is 24. 3 times 7 plus 2 is 23. 3 times 6 plus two is 20, then I added them up and got 67,820. I use multiplication to solve this problem because we know the number of customers and we know how much they're charging each month and we're trying to find the total. So here's what I did. First I started with the ones place. 7 times 2 is 14, so 4 carry the 1. 7 times 8 is 56, plus 1 is 57, so 7 carry the 5. 7 times 7 is 49, plus 5 is 54, so 54. 7 times 6 plus 2 is 47. That's my first product. So now I get my problem set up for the next one. So I cross out these up here where I'm regrouping and I put a zero here to hold the place because I'm not really multiplying by 3 here I'm actually multiplying by 30 so that just helps me there okay so 3 times 2 is 6 3 times 8 is 24 carry the 2 bring down the 4 3 times 7 is 21 plus 2 is 23 so 3 down here carry your 2 3 times 6 is 18 plus 2 is 20 and then when I go to add them up I get 250,934 hi everybody I use multiplication to solve this problem um, here's what I did so I did 7 times 2 is 14 carry the 1 7 times 8 plus 1 is 57, 
7 times 7 plus 5 is 44. 6 or 7 times 6 plus 4 is 46. So that's my first product. Cross everything out. I put a zero here to hold the place. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 8 is 24. Carry the 2. 3 times 2 is 21 plus 2 is 23. Carry the 2. Bring down the 3. And 3 times 6 it plus 2 is 20. Then I add them up and I get 240,934. So while reading this problem, I kind of wondered if a frog could set off a home alarm. <laughs> anyway, um, so I multiplied these, these two numbers together to get my answer. Here's what I did. I did seven first, so seven times two is 14. Bring down the four, carry the one. Seven times eight plus one is 57. Seven times seven plus five is 54, so five and four. And seven times six plus five is 47. And then I crossed all these numbers out to make sure that I regrouped. I got rid of all that, not to confuse me, because sometimes I get confused. And I put a zero here to hold the place, because now we're multiplying by 30. So three times two is six. Three times eight is 24, so four down here, two up here. Three times seven plus two is 23, so two up here, three down there. And three times six plus two is 20, so 20. And then here's how I added them up. Four plus zero is four. Seven plus six is 13. Carry your one. And then four plus four is eight. Seven plus three is 10, carry your one. Don't forget to add up here. One plus four is five, and then bring down your two, so 250,834. Well, there you have it, detectives. You have just seen our four guest students solve this problem. Three made a mistake, and only one got it correct. Use your detective diary to help you discuss, decide, and justify who is correct and incorrect in today's episode of Math Misconception Mystery. Bye-bye, detectives. I'll catch you later in another episode.